all you flight servers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am uh, back in Microsoft Flight Simulator and back flying the Bush Trip Interstate 5. <laughs> so we have finished part one, uh, Washington State, Blaine to Kelso. We are now getting ready to fly, uh, start part two, uh, going to do the first leg, and this is uh, Kelso to Ashland, and the first leg is actually Southwest Regional. KKLS to Aurora State, KUAO. So uh, that's uh, what we're starting on. So I will see you in the cockpit. Okay, I am here in the cabin and I have uh, set my altitude 2100 feet. Uh, plus, uh, we're going to ascend at 600 uh, vertical speed and that should get us up and over those these ridges right here without any problem and so I think we are about ready to take off flap set at one and so uh, let's uh, go ahead and get started now of course I always do the run up and it's going to tell me my brake is on so let's get going here and one of the things I have done is turn down some of the sounds hopefully that will allow for better understanding of listening to the narrator. And off we go. All right, let's get our autopilots going. That should be set. Go ahead and bring that flap in. Okay. I think we're ready. After takeoff, we resume our journey south. Reach Paradise Point State Park, a beautiful and serene park known for its stunning natural beauty, offering visitors the opportunity to enjoy the outdoors in a peaceful environment. The park covers more than 101 acres and offers visitors a variety of activities, including hiking, fishing, bird watching, and more. One of the park's strengths is its location along the banks of the Columbia River. Paradise Point State Park also offers numerous services to visitors. The park has picnic areas, restrooms, and even a children's playground. It is also crisscrossed by numerous trails that allow visitors to explore the area and enjoy the sights and sounds of nature. Okay, and I believe that park is just right off to this area right in here, right along here at some point. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and kick back. You can see the concrete compass we're following along. That's I-5 or Interstate 5. And we're going to follow the Columbia River down to where we get to Portland. So enjoy the flight. wildlife that can be found there. 
The park is home to a variety of birds, including bald eagles, ospreys, and great blue herons. Visitors can also see beavers, otters, and other animals that live in and around the lake. Okay, so you can kind of see the lake right there. It has that little island in it. Uh, it's a little ways up here. I'll point it out uh, as we get up there. Actually, it should be that lake right there. So I'll kind of keep this right here and then uh, kind of enjoy the flight as we go on by. As you push further, you should already see the suburbs of Portland. It is the largest city in the state of Oregon and has a population of approximately 650,000 people. Portland is known for its environmentally conscious culture, diverse neighborhoods, and thriving arts and food scenes. One of the most popular attractions in Portland is the International Rose Test Garden, which features over 10,000 rose bushes. The city is also home to many parks and outdoor spaces, including Forest Park, which is one of the largest urban forests in the United States. The city is also known for its craft beer and has been called the beer capital of the world. Well, I'm not sure about that beer capital of the world, but uh, I never did make it to the uh, Rose Test uh, Gardens. Uh, I would have liked to. But it uh, is supposed to be really, really beautiful on those uh, rose uh, test gardens, so. All right, well, we're moving along. There's I-5 below us still, and as we're going to be following that into Portland, and that is right in that area right there. She got uh, Clackamas County correct, that's the pronunciation there, but she said Willamette, uh, that's actually the Willamette River, uh, which runs down through uh, Oregon down through there. So we'll hop back outside, I believe Lake Oswego is going to be off to our left up here. So let's uh, hop back out and you can kind of look for the lake down and in there. at Aurora State Airport. 
It has one runway designated 1735 with a length of 5,004 feet and serves general aviation aircraft and offers various services including fueling maintenance and a flight training school for aspiring pilots. The airport is known for hosting various events throughout the year, including fly-ins air shows and aviation festivals. Okay, so we're going to land on 1735s if you caught that that she said. Actually, we're running we're landing on runway 17 and that's the uh, airport right straight ahead up there. So I am going to uh, well let's hop out a little bit here so you can kind of get a look at what's out here. We're still running along I-5 and uh, once we start getting up here, look for the uh, golf course that's right there. So uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if people fly in here with their clubs, come out for a day of golf and get back in and fly back home. All right, back inside the cabin to start getting things set and ready to go. Uh, we can start throttling down. And I need to turn these off. Take control the plane. And let's go ahead and set a flap. And I we're lined up pretty well already. So far, most of the legs coming in we've had to adjust and uh, get lined up with the uh, runway that we're going to land on. But today it looks like we get to just fly kind of straight, straight in. Okay, I think we're still about four miles out. And you can kind of see that golf course right there that I was talking about. can only imagine sitting there trying to play golf with the plane coming in overhead, but... And looking pretty good. Maybe just a little high. But back off on the throttle. Set her down. Come on. There we go. A fairly smooth landing. Let's see if we can get stopped up here for the turnout. Taxiway. And start turning early with this thing. One of the things I've learned, uh, it uh, does not turn on a dime. Oh, let's start swinging in. And looks like we can just kind of pull light straight ahead and park. All right. And let's just park it right here. And 
there we go. Uh, leg completed, checked, and 23 minutes, which is not too bad. All right, let's hit uh, next. And here's our stats. 20, 20 minutes, 20 and a half minutes on our uh, flight. And from KKLS Southwest Regional to KUAO uh, Aurora State. All right, all you uh, flight simmers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. And ring that bell. It'll always let you know when I am uh, uploading new videos. And I am doing that all the time. So always on a weekly basis, there's a video coming up out there. Okay, all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.